the best equipment manufactured will never live up to its full potential if the operators responsible for it are not properly trained. This is true of lift trucks and other types of material handling equipment. It's especially true with a specialty type system such as the double stacked multi-shifter. The purpose of this video is to provide the training that will allow the operators to achieve maximum efficiency in a safe manner. This is the key for any company to justify the purchase of this type of capital equipment. The system shown here utilizes a double stacked multi-shifter system changing the batteries in a reach truck. As we can see, batteries are stored adjacent to each other in the double stacked roller stands with the appropriate charges mounted above. This portion of the system allows the space for proper charging and cooling of the batteries prior to their use in the lift trucks. The multi-shifter vehicle shown here features two compartments for the handling of batteries. This approach negates the need for empty storage slots within the system as the battery exchange actually takes place aboard the multi-shifter vehicle. The control panel has three joysticks. The right-hand joystick controls forward and reverse travel. The middle joystick controls lift and lower. The left-hand joystick works in conjunction with three rocker switches to control bridge movement, slide movement, magnet on-off, magnet rotation, and magnet reach-retract. The top rocker switch turns the magnet on and off. While the magnet is on, the forward reverse travel is slowed to low speed. The middle switch turns the magnet rotate on and off. When the magnet rotate switch is on, all other vehicle functions are automatically cut off. The bottom rocker switch controls the bridge, magnet slide, and the magnet reach retract. This switch is a momentary switch. That means it always returns to the middle or neutral position. The neutral position allows for bridge travel, the top position allows slide travel, and the bottom position allows for magnet reach retract. To the right of the forward reverse joystick are the emergency stop button and the on-off key switch. All controls are directional and variable for the precise ease of operation. A dead man pedal in the operator's compartment requires that the operator remain within the confines of the compartment in order for any of the hydraulic functions to operate. Two hands are required for all operations and increase the safety factor during battery handling operations. Tying the stands and vehicle together is the vehicle guide track. This simple angle and cam follower arrangement maintains accurate guidance throughout the length of the system and allows the operator to function efficiently within the confines of the system. Now that we've viewed the standard components that make up the double stacked multi-shifter system, let's progress to the act of properly changing a battery with this system. Prior to the operation of the multi-shifter vehicle, the lift truck should be parked in a designated change area. The brake should be set, the key switch turned off, the battery disconnected, and the leads placed out of the way, and all retention devices moved to allow access to the battery in the compartment. As the operator boards the multi-shifter vehicle, he or she should first visually inspect the vehicle to ensure that all safety covers are in place and that the vehicle shows no signs of damage or disrepair. The emergency e-stop button should be placed in the on position. Once on board, the operator turns on the key switch and steps on the dead man pedal. All controls should be quickly tested for proper function before beginning with the battery change sequence. Note, if at any time any portion of the vehicle does not appear to be in proper working order, stop immediately. Notify the proper personnel so that whatever necessary repairs are needed can be performed. Only after the vehicle has been checked out by qualified personnel should it be released again for service. Performing a battery change. The first step in the battery change sequence requires that the operator proceed to the proper storage slot to select a fresh battery for the lift truck. The vehicle is then driven to a point where the charger leads can be reached and disconnected. The leads are placed out of the way and the battery is ready to be moved. The operator then positions the vehicle where he can lower the safety gates on the battery stands. The operator should align the near compartment of the multi-shifter vehicle, that is, the one closest to the operator, to the stored battery. The roller bed should be positioned slightly below the height of the battery storage stands.
Using the left hand, the operator holds the bottom rocker switch in the reach retract position. Then he moves the left hand joystick to the left, moving the bridge to the left. When the magnet comes in contact with a battery, the operator holds the magnet rocker switch in the on position. The magnet attaches and the operator then pulls the battery out of the stands until the battery is over the first roller of the vehicle roller bed. At this point, the vehicle is elevated until the battery is tilted slightly uphill. Then the battery is pulled onto the roller bed of the vehicle. The battery should be centered on the roller bed. The action of bringing the batteries over the first roller of the vehicle roller bed and then raising the bed, tilting the battery slightly uphill, produces quick, accurate changes. It also prevents the batteries from banging into the vehicle rollers due to misalignment. This misalignment wastes time and can put extra wear and tear on the lead rollers. This is the most important technique to remember and master when changing batteries.